Hello and welcome to the overview of the new features in Prusa Slicer 2.4. Preparing models for printing with multiple colors or materials is now very easy thanks to the new MMU painting tools. The smart fill colors the region under the mouse cursor up to a sharp edge. Increasing the smart fill angle will make the color spill further. You can quickly swap continuous patches of color with the bucket fill tool. And you can use the brush tool for painting freely. During slicing, the painted regions are cleverly extended inwards, giving the different colors the best chance of binding together. Seeing the amazing work of users trying the alpha and beta versions, we think the MMU painting tools will breathe a whole new life into printing with multiple colors. One more new feature for the MMU, the color change dialog newly allows to generate random extruder swap sequences, producing a rainbow effect. The new snack support type maintains the overhang shape, so the supports do not leak along the walls. We are not making it the default yet, so switch to it manually if you want to try it out. Leaking of supports through the model geometry has been significantly decreased. You can now set the support contact distance on the top and bottom independently. Bridges used to be printed with an extra thick extrusion. Now they use the same layer height as the rest of the print. The new behavior makes bridging and areas above supports look significantly better. If you need to print extremely long bridges, you can switch to the old behavior by enabling the thick bridges option. You can now highlight overhangs when painting supports. Using a new checkbox, you can limit the brush strokes only to the highlighted overhanging triangles. And the Smart Fill tool is also available when painting supports. Overall, supports are now easier to remove, more customizable and the supported overhangs look better. The new built-in shape gallery provides a quick and easy way to access your most used models. You can use them as modifiers or to be placed on the platter and printed. You can expand the library with your own models. In the future, we'll add a folder or a tab system for better organization and a text generator. If you have a suggestion for a model that should be included by default, please let us know. We've added the fuzzy skin feature, which lets you create rough, fiber-like texture on the sides of your model. Great for handles! We ported this feature from Cura. Big thanks goes to the devs for keeping it open source. Prusa Slicer already supported dark mode in OS X and on Linux. Based on popular demand, we implemented it for Windows as well. You can enable it in the preferences. Brim settings are now object specific. That means you can turn on brim just for some of the objects. The gap between the brim and the object is now customizable. The negative volume lets you subtract one mesh from another. Similarly, how Boolean operators work in other 3D programs. That way you can, for example, create easily resizable holes directly in Prusa Slicer. Or you can load one of the objects from the new shape gallery as a negative volume. G-code generation is now two to four times faster You'll see the biggest difference in speed when slicing detailed models on devices with many cores and threads. 
When Prusa Slicer detects the model looks like a logo or a sign, a notification will offer you to automatically add color changes to the correct heights. It saves you time and removes the guesswork from inserting the color changes at the right height. As is evident from this video, Prusa Slicer grows more powerful every day. But the number of features can be quite overwhelming. In this release we present Did You Know Hands with useful information and little known features, described in short, digestible bits. You'll get one hint each time you start Prusa Slicer. You can disable these hints in the preferences. Some models have a huge number of triangles, making them difficult to work with. You can now reduce the number of triangles in a mesh using the new Simplify Mesh feature. You can set the detail level or the decimate ratio to adjust how much you want to simplify the model. This feature can also be used to create the low poly effect directly in Prusa Slicer. Prusa Slicer newly supports slicing of 3D lab print airplane models by adding a new slicing mode. These models contain overlapping bodies and need a different logic for evaluating them. Use the even odd fill rule when slicing them. When you upload a G-code over the network, a new progress bar is displayed as a special notification. When you enable sequential printing, Prusa Slicer can now visualize the clearance and potential collisions. In the SLA mode, you can now choose from three different auto-orientation algorithms. You can target best surface quality, reduced overhang slopes, which leads to minimum number of supports, or lowest Z height, which reduces the print time. You can now easily compare the differences between two profiles with a special view. Enable it by selecting Window, Compare Presets. When you drag the horizontal slider in the preview screen, you can inspect the order of moves in the current layer. Newly, you can also inspect the generated G-code on the left side of the screen. Based on many requests, we are now allowing the object to be moved below the print bed. The intersection of the model with the bed is visualized with a white outline. There is also a new button, drop to bed, at the object manipulation panel to move the object back to the print bed. Thanks to the community contributions, we added more third-party printer profiles, including those for Voron printers. You can switch the printable property for multiple objects at once. When closing a project, you will now be warned about unsafe changes. Sliders now have a dedicated button to type in an exact value. And the list of new features just goes on and on. If you want to read the full changelog, visit Prusa Slicer's GitHub page. We suggest reading them chronologically, starting with Prusa Slicer 2.4 Alpha 1. Don't forget that you can find Prusa Slicer's documentation at help.prusha3d.com. And as always, happy printing!